Up next on Lion TV, a brand new episode of Hot Topics, Jacob Showy with all your sports updates. And me, Lexi Farron, with some good news as these temperatures rise as we head into spring. All that and more, Lion TV starts now. Buenos dias and happy Foreign Language Week, Cersei. I'm Dakota Harris. And I'm Emily Tyler. Vamos a los anuncios. With prom just around the corner, the SHS prom closet will be opening again soon by appointment only. This vast selection of suits and dresses will be available to all sophomores, juniors, and seniors by request via Google Form. Contact Ms. Sarah Dacus for more information. On Thursday, a representative from Harding University will be on campus to discuss the university with any interested juniors. To attend, you must have signed up by yesterday. Walk-ins not welcome. Seniors, do you have a Certificate of Degree of Indian Blood or Tribal Enrollment Documentation from a federally recognized tribe? If so, you are eligible for the Ernest Whitelaw Don Kinney Scholarship. If you are interested, pick up an application from the Guidance Office. Also, seniors, don't forget to pick up your cap, gowns, and invitations on Friday. Jostens will be delivering them to seniors whose accounts have been paid. You will be called out of class when your things are ready. Last Friday, Hadia Shudri placed second in the state for Poetry Out Loud, which also means that she is a runner-up for the semifinals for nationals. Way to go, Hadia. Emily, I've been in the mood for a good movie lately. Any ideas? Well, I could tell you, but it would be easier to show you in the newest episode of Two Chicks and a Flick. Welcome back, y'all. It's me, Paige. And me, Emily. Let's get into the next episode of... Two Chicks and a Flick! <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start by talking about Black Panther Wakanda Forever. The story of Black Panthers continues even after the death of beloved actor Chadwick Boseman. He Bombay! He Bombay! He Bombay! He Bombay! This movie will be released on November 11th. The movie has had many problems into production due to problems including Boseman's death, but they have finally been able to get production rolling and we can't wait to see what's in store. Next, let's talk about Disenchanted. Disenchanted is an upcoming American live action animated musical fantasy romantic comedy directed and co-written by Adam Shankman as a sequel to the 2007 film Enchanted. It will star Amy Adams, Patrick Dempsey, James Marsden, and Indina Menzel. There is no official release date, but we do know it will come out in 2022 on Disney+. Plus. That movie looks great. I know. So what's next page? Next we have Downton Abbey, A New Era. For those that don't know, Downton Abbey is a historical drama that follows the lives of the Crawley family and their servants in the family's Edwardian country house. In this movie, Lord and Lady Grantham request the pleasure of moviegoers' company at their Yorkshire County estate this Christmas. It looks spectacular. And will star Maggie Smith, Michelle Dockery, Laura Haddock, and more. This movie will come out May 20th. Looks splendid, doesn't it? Indeed it does, Emily. So, shall we give another trivia question? I believe we shall. In Ghostbusters, what prompts Dr. Peter Venkman to say this line? Well, there's something you don't see every day. See that answer next time, Cersei. We love you! Ah! I'm not big on historical drama, but the new Downton Abbey sure looks exciting. That it does. For now, let's take a look at national news. Marina Ostinakova, a Russian anti-war protester, disrupted the Russian state news broadcasting, holding a poster that said, Stop the war. Don't believe in the propaganda. They're lying to you, in Russian. After doing this, the broadcast was cut off. Ostinakova was detained by the police. 
Tesla CEO and SpaceX founder Elon Musk challenged Vladimir Putin to a duel on Monday. In a tweet, Musk stated, I hereby challenge Vladimir Putin to single combat. The stakes are Ukraine, with both Putin's name and Ukraine being spelled in Russian. NASA has confirmed that Mark Van Hy, a U.S. astronaut, will be returning to Earth from the International Space Station. Thanks to tense relationships between Russia and the U.S., it was feared that Russian cosmonauts would not allow Hy to return to Earth with them. Incidentally, Hy is likely to break the record for longest continuous stay in space by a U.S. astronaut. Here's hoping the weather is good enough for the landing. Well, we'll have to turn to our friend Lexi Fahrenheit for that. How's the weather over there, Lexi? Good morning, Cersei Hi. Let's get right into those weather updates. Today, we will have partly cloudy skies with the rain at 9% and a high of 72 degrees. The winds are blowing east to northeast at 5 miles per hour and there's a humidity of 69%. And the sun rose at 7.15 a.m. Now for tonight. Tonight, we'll have clear skies with the rain staying at 9% chance and the low at 46 degrees. The winds are blowing south at 3 miles per hour and the humidity is sitting at 89% and the sun will set at 7.15 p.m. Now for the almanac. The last seven days, the highest high has been 64 degrees and the low at 22 degrees. Our monthly average of precipitation is 0.71 inches and the month today is 0.81 inches. Now for the forecast. Thursday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 73 and a low of 50 degrees and a 13% chance of rain. Friday, it will be rainy with a high of 61 and a low of 38. Saturday, the skies will be partly cloudy with a high of 64, a high of 39, and a 5% chance of rain. Sunday, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 69, a low of 46, and a 55% chance of rain. And on Monday, we will have uh, thunderstorms in the afternoon with a high of 69 degrees, a low of 56 degrees, and a 45% chance of rain. So as you can see, the temperatures will be rising just a little bit as we get into the spring season. Back to the news desk. I don't know how I feel about this slow return to warmer weather. Well, it may be warm, but it's not as hot as the latest episode of Hot Topics. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, Cersei High, and welcome back to a special St. Patrick's Day episode of Hot Topics. I'm Marley Price. And I'm One Lucky Mama. Yeah, we know today isn't St. Patty's official day, but there's just so much drama needing to be covered. Anyway, what's trending, Sophia? I'm so happy that you asked, Marley. First things first, have you heard of the conversation that started on Twitter last week debating if there are more wheels or doors in the world? Oh, I sure have, and I can confidently say that I am Team Wheels. Are you sure about that? I feel like the more you think about it, the more confusing it gets. That's why I closed my eyes, randomly picked a side, and haven't looked back since. All right, what's next? Before we go on, I have to be honest, you still haven't cash out me for lunch last week? Seriously? The wire transfer is coming through. There's just a problem with the banks. First of all, do you even know what a wire transfer is? And secondly, why are you talking like that? That's the worst German accent I've ever heard. Talking like what? Also, what is your outfit? You look poor. What? Oh, you've been watching Inventing Anna, haven't you? Maybe. In February, Netflix released a new limited series on the real-life scandal and trial of the Instagram legendary quote-unquote era slash con woman Anna Sorokin Delby. Produced and co-written by Grey's Anatomy showrunner Shonda Rhimes, the show has blown up in media and internet culture. Let's take a look. Her name is Anna Delvey. Or Anna Sorokin, no one's sure. She's either a rich German heiress or she's flat broke. The charges are insane. Anna committed real white collar felonies while posing as a socialite in an attempt to steal millions of dollars. Now, we do want to take a quick moment to celebrate Lion TV's Jacob Showy's birthday. To honor Jacob, here's a lovely edit dedicated to him. Wow, guys, thanks. I guess, is that it? Yes, yeah, sorry, it was short notice. Speaking of our amazing Lion TV staff, we recognize that SHS students don't really know a lot about Lion TV. A lot of people say that you are only as organized as your workspace. Let's see if that's true with our new segment, Edit Bay Watch. This will be interesting. Roll that clip! So, we're going to give a tour of all the edit bays, but let's start with the man, the myth, the legend himself, Mr. Bowman's office. Okay. Okay. So since Bomo was a bust, I think we're going to go ahead and try Charity's Edit Bay. Um, Charity, we're doing Edit Bay Watch. Can you just like show us something from your Edit Bay that you like or... Oh, okay. Is there anything else, I mean, that you want to show or... 
Um, now we're gonna try JD's edit bay. Um, we are gonna learn how to steal what? the Declaration of Independence. Oh, hey guys, um, how's it going? What are What are you up to? Uh, just is. Are you recording? Yeah, I'm just. It's my show. Your show? We yeah. have a show. It's Lion TV. Yeah, but this is my other show for personal use. Okay. Um, can you just show us one thing you like about your edit bay, I um, guess? I really enjoy Tobey Maguire eating a hot dog. It's pretty good. Uh, okay. Anyway, I have to go back to this. Very important no. business. Oh, Not okay, okay. The I'll try Chris. Um, Chris is new. He's been here for what, like two weeks? Three weeks, I think. I don't really know if he knows how to unlock the edit bay door yet, but, uh, I don't think he's done much. He's probably fine. Yeah. Okay, now we have Jacob's edit bay. Um, it's pretty plain. Normally he's in here doing sports. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Can you turn on the computer? Oh. Um, I guess open it? Okay. okay. What? <gasps> I'm not 15, I'm 16! <laughs> Well, that concludes this week's episode of Hot Topics. We won't see you until after spring break, so make sure to wear green tomorrow. Cheerio! Back, Back to the news, news desk. desk. I tell you, I'd be lost if it weren't for Marley and Sophia keeping us up to date on the latest trends. For sure. But I'm so hungry. What's for lunch, Emily? Today we'll be having spaghetti and meatballs, dinner roll, baby carrots, baked beans, pineapple tidbit cups, milk, chocolate cupcake, and grapes. Can't wait. Say, is it true that Tom Brady has come back from retirement? Not sure, but maybe Andrew touched down Tyler. Nope, Dakota, that was last week. Oh, it was worth a try. Anyways, here's Jacob showing with the latest. What's good, Cersei High School? Let's get into these sports updates before going into this Wednesday morning. In local sports, the Cersei Lions baseball team had a game yesterday against the Marion Patriots, but is rescheduled to today. Their next game will be on Thursday as they play the Pangburn Tigers, which looks to be an exciting one, so try to make it if you can. The boys and girls soccer teams had, had a game yesterday against the Batesville Pioneers, which will be their last game until they come back spring break on the 29th when they will play Green County Tech Golden Eagles. The Cersei Lions softball team will have a game tomorrow at home against Sylvan Hill Bears. In national sports, the MLB and MLBPA last week officially agreed on a new CBA to get the season up and going on time. With spring training starting just a few days though, there has been free agent and trading frenzies with many players trying to get with teams as soon as possible, including players like starting pitcher Clayton Kershaw re-signing with the Los Angeles Dodgers, first baseman Matt Olson getting traded to the Atlanta Braves, and all-star Jesse Winker getting traded to the Seattle Mariners. Expect many more of these transactions to happen before spring training games start on Friday. In the NFL, after only two months, quarterback Tom Brady has came out of retirement for at least one more year on the field. He said that he has unfinished business that needs to be finished on the field. He will again, for the third year in a row, play with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as he looks to get his eighth Super Bowl ring. In the NCAA, the official March Madness bracket was officially revealed with many terrific teams including Arizona, Gonzaga, Kansas, and reigning champion Baylor ranking first in the bracket. The bracket also comes with some controversy as teams like Texas A&M and Oklahoma not making it at all. But it won't stop what looks to be the best March Madness bracket in some time. Well seriously, that's all the sports updates I have for you. I hope everyone's March Madness brackets turn out well this year. Now back to Dakota and Emily at the news desk. That was really cool, Jacob. Well, that's all the time we have for today, Cersei. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Cersei High Lion TV. And follow us on Twitter at Lion TV, Instagram at Cersei Lion TV, and on Facebook at Cersei High Lion TV. Signing off, I'm Dakota Harris. And I'm Emily Tyler. Hasta luego, Cersei.